I'm Biochar Bob. I travel around the world to meet and tell the stories of people who use biochar. They're using the stove right now, so let's check it out. To help their gardens and crops grow, improve soils, clean their drinking water, and help the world fight the effects of global warming. Follow me as I crisscross Costa Rica in a terribly suited rental vehicle. Insurance! <laughs> Accidentally eat worms. And meet local farmers, researchers, artisans, and agriculturists, and even some animals. You like biochar? Who use biochar in their everyday lives. This is a little tiny chunk of hundreds of thousands of hectares of bananas that are growing in this region. The negative impacts for the way this has been done for the last 150 years are so huge that they've, inf they've in fact destroyed entire ecosystems. So we're driving up through the Sixola Valley right now and you know this really was the beating heart of the banana industry back in the earlier part of the 20th century. <clears throat> Essentially what's now Chiquita pushed across the Sixola River from northern Panama in the 1920s because they were starting to deplete the soil over there. And now what's happening, of course, is you can only farm the same crop intensively on the same soil for so long and your yield starts going down. So all the bananeros in this area are struggling with that. You know, they're trying to put into a practice, you know, more sustainable growing methods. They're trying to reduce the amount of chemicals they use. They'd be perfect clients for biochar as an uh, organic amendment, you know, to help control disease and reduce the amount of chemical fertilizer they're using. And they're interested. That's the good thing. I think finally the banana industry is trying to pay attention to stuff like that because they're facing so many self-created problems. Right. And uh, I think biochar is going to be part of the solution for them. Part of keeping biochar economically viable and prevalent in the community is having a way to produce it easily and inexpensively. That's what R. Donnelly and his team have been concentrating on for the last several years. The Astufa Finca project has designed a biochar producing cookstove built from accessible materials that uses less fuel and emits up to 92% less particulate matter. The, the stove that I've got right here in my hand is basically the stove that we've been using for the last three years. This is a real simple device. It's made out of really simple, lightweight, and very inexpensive materials. We're producing these for under $20 a piece US. So let me make sure I got this right. You have holes on the bottom of the bucket and that's where the air updrafts. Mm -hmm. Then you have this zinc uh, roofing material where air gets preheated and then comes through these holes inside of here. Right. And that's what causes the smoke to burn. So the actual tars, resins, and oils of the, parent of the material then combust, so it creates a clean burn. Mm -hmm. and you put this on and that concentrates it and mixes them all together so that it's extraordinarily clean. Right. And to tweak the temperature, you just adjust the amount of air coming in the bottom. You got it. The Astufa Finca project has aimed to keep materials very basic so that stoves can not only last longer, but also be affordable to produce, easy to fix, and accessible, even in remote locations. We saw how the cook stoves work in the home setting on a small scale. Next, it was time to see how larger organizations are incorporating biochar into their systems. We stopped in at APTA, which is an organization that helps organize local farmers, promote biodiverse farming practices, and bargain for the best prices for their goods. They use biochar when they cultivate new cacao plants that are then sold to the farmers. So I just picked up one of these cacao plants and you can see that there's these dark little specks in here and it's the biochar in the soil. Talamanca, por tradición, por, por muchas cosas, siempre ha sido cacaotero. Simplemente las enfermedades y los precios de, de intermediarios y de competencias habían venido a, a tapar, a, a, a ocultar esa, esa producción, esa, esa capacidad. Y APTA nació con ese fin de dar una posibilidad a esos productores en la zona de mantener ese producto y de poder comercializarlo a un muy buen precio, a una muy buena condición. APTA is an organization that can really help take biochar mainstream. APTA supports over 1,200 cacao farmers. Their challenge now is to grow their infrastructure to be able to process all the cacao that will come to their facility. They sell most of it to Switzerland to be made into premium Swiss chocolate. Si necesitamos esas mejoras en infraestructura que actualmente no tenemos y de ahí que se han venido haciendo esfuerzos grandes en las últimas épocas para poder tener eso hacia mediados del 2015.
Peter King is a longtime permaculture farmer in Puerto Viejo. He showed us around his farm where he uses biochar regularly to improve soil conditions and increase Look productivity. Around, see biochar in here. Oh yeah, there it is. See, there's some more there. So there's but there's biochar. This whole place is biochar. Uh, we're definitely getting more production. We see it in in the success of what what we're what we're making too. Um, sometimes it's easier for us to to tell just just how much fruit we've picked and and how much we've sold lately and. We, we harvested 1.2 tons of mangosteen just about five months ago, and we're harvesting again now. Wow, that's so, fantastic. Uh, so that's, that's, that, that's, that, that's really going pretty well. So the economic viability of biochar for use is definitely there. Yes, and a big plus with biochar is as a soil amendment, if your soil needs, um, uh, needs lime, calcium carbonate, or dolomite, or something like that, you, you need to add that and then a year or two later you need to add it again and the biochar doesn't the biochar stays there indefinitely so you don't have to apply over and over again peter's farm is a clear example of how biochar can be used to positively impact soil conditions long term thereby increasing yields year after year when making a living by growing plants soil health is the foundation for productivity and profitability One place that biochar's economic viability is most apparent is in the Saturday farmer's market in Puerto Viejo. We're here at the Feria and what we're finding is that not only are people using biochar with the estufa fincas for personal reasons, but they're also using it in their businesses and farms and they're seeing huge results. There were many examples of people using biochar to grow fruits and vegetables, but there were also a few unexpected finds. Oh, no way! Charcoal from our stove, so this is a toothpaste. That, uh, Do you use this? Charcoal. Yeah, I use this every day. <laughs> How is it? It's awesome. Uh, it doesn't taste good like normal toothpaste do because they have a lot of sugar added to it. Yeah. But it's um, super cleaning, really whitening because charcoal is really good at um, taking out the toxins hmm. from different things. So first they're like, oh, black toothpaste? <laughs> and then after I'm like, try it. Really, it works. It's magic. They try it and no doubt they're back next week saying it was amazing. Really? I get to see... People who are using biochar in their daily personal lives, but I also got to see biochar contributing to their businesses and to their farms. Uh, you know, he said that the, the food that we're gonna, that we're about to eat, was made with biochar and is making a difference in the productivity of his crops, so he can make more money. That's what it's all about. For an idea to go beyond the minds of a few committed individuals and into the world, cultural integration and economic viability are paramount. The Asufa Finca team has designed a culturally sensitive cook stove by learning from the needs of the community and producing them in an affordable, accessible way. Whether it's supporting local cacao farmers or artisans at the farmer's market, the Asufa Finca project is using biochar to impact people, planet, and profit. <laughs>